Well, I'll tell you, hearing that line that they were just in the van saying, that's enough of that, and seeing the footage of the Beatles being dashed away from the field in that van at Candlestick Park in San Francisco, you kind of get a sense of just how the band was just done with everything and done with the touring. You know, after the stage being rushed in Cleveland and a bomb scare in Memphis and so many other similar incidents, 1966 became a turning point. Now, don't go anywhere because we have a very special performance coming up in the final segment. The Beatles get together one final time and play on a rooftop of their office in London on January 30th, 1969. It's an iconic performance and you don't want to miss it. It'll be one that really brings the touring gears full circle. I'm Amy Jurovich with Rob Walker. And if you're enjoying touring with the Beatles as we have, call 1-800-455-9678 or go to WOSU.org right now and make that gift of support. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles. With this exceptional film, Ron Howard drops you right inside the Beatles' inner circle, taking you on an extraordinary adventure that brings to life what it was like to be on the road during their rise to superstardom. Become a WOSU sustainer at $8 or make an annual contribution of $96 and we'll thank you by sending you the DVD, The Beatles Eight Days a Week, The Touring Years, and experience the Beatles. Increase your sustaining donation to $15 or make an annual gift of $180 and we'll thank you with the two-disc special edition DVD of the Beatles' Eight Days a Week, The Touring Years, along with the CD, Live at the Hollywood Bowl, produced by Giles Martin. This new stereo remix allows the Beatles' raw energy and tight vocals to take center stage. The special edition DVD contains the film we're enjoying now, plus a second disc with over 100 minutes of features. Make a sustaining donation of $25 or an annual gift of $300 and we'll say thanks with a rare and unique collection of Beatles gifts. It includes the two disc special edition on your choice of Blu-ray or DVD, the CD remix of Live at the Hollywood Bowl and two exclusive items only available through WOSU, the eight days a week tote and mug. But wait, there's more. As an extra incentive, each of the levels just mentioned comes with a 1964 U.S. tour booklet, a 60-page commemorative book with replica ticket stubs, historic facts, and photos from each of the Beatles' North American concerts that year. Now's the time. Show your love for the Beatles and WOSU. Call or go online right now. And thank you. Well, over the years, we heard what drove the Beatles to give up touring. The pace was grueling. The screaming fans were overwhelming. But watching eight days a week, you get a crystal clear picture of what it was like for the Beatles to try and live and be creative under those circumstances. It's really not a surprise. The band finally just said enough. Director Ron Howard has brought to life the intensity of those four short years when the band was on tour and the intensity of the Beatles' relationships with one another. And you're being taken on this wild ride only here on WOSU. Think about how much you're enjoying this look behind the scenes at the early years of the world's most preeminent rock band. That's something you'll find again and again on WOSU. WOSU brings you programs that help you and your family explore our world through documentaries, music, science, drama, and so much more, which when it came time to decide on a broadcast home for eight days a week. The Beatles all came together and said, we're doing it on PBS and on WOSU. Please call 1-800-455-9678 or go to WOSU.org right now and make a contribution in support of this terrific Beatles film and all of the music and documentaries and arts programs that you watch right here on WOSU. Thanks so much for your support. You know, the Beatles collaborated with PBS to make this documentary possible because they knew it was a high level of quality, not only on the station, but the people who watch PBS. So your support, your viewership makes the difference, and we appreciate it. Every single call makes a difference, and now is the time to collaborate with us. Giles Martin is a music producer and son of legendary George Martin, the Beatles' longtime record producer. We sat down with Giles and talked about why PBS and the Beatles are a perfect fit. 
we live in a world today where there's, there's, you know, there's so much lobbying and there's so much influence by corporations and there's, you know, the Beatles didn't go and couldn't go make Rubber Soul and Revolver and Sgt. Pepper and the White Album, etc., because they were told to by their record label or they were told to by people. And funny enough, PBS are kind of the same in that respect for me. Um, the way that PBS is open to all roots of culture and all influence and wants to pass this on to generations. And, you know, it's not a question of looking down and teaching people, it's a question of exposing people to the world of art, the world of music, and being courageous in doing so. And I think PBS, for me, is, is celebrated like that. I, I, I love the fact it exists, and I love the fact that it, it, it gives people a window on a world they may not see. In 1962, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr came together to form the 20th century musical phenomenon known as the Beatles. Think of their music. A Hard Day's Night, Can't Buy Me Love, Hey Jude, Yesterday, with a little help from my friends. Just saying those song titles makes me smile and brings back so many wonderful memories. Doesn't it for you too? The film we're watching together is just spellbinding, but the DVD or Blu-ray that we're offering with our thanks when you support WOSU is absolutely incredible. Not only do you receive Ron Howard's authorized and highly anticipated documentary feature film about the Beatles phenomenon in their early career, but you'll also receive 100 minutes of incredible bonus features that explore how John, Paul, George, and Ringo came together to become the Beatles. We get to really explore their inner workings and how they made decisions, created their music, and built their collective career together all while exploring the Beatles' extraordinary and unique musical gifts and their remarkable personalities. You'll want to experience every last second, both of the film and the bonus features. Just make your contribution to this station's website, that's WOSU.org, or call 1-800-455-9678. Thanks so much. Well, music makes memories, and revisiting some of our favorite songs brings us back to times of joy and optimism to moments where the world felt alive and new. No doubt that you're a super fan of the music we're listening to right now, the Beatles, it is fantastic. would like to see more of this music on WOSU. To continue this marvelous legacy, to make sure it stays right here, think about becoming a sustaining member. All you do is choose the amount that works best for you, 10, 15, 20 dollars a month, then go online or call 1-800-455-9678 to support more wonderful music programs right here on WOSU. Your donation ensures the legacy of music continues to thrive right here. Become a sustaining member now. Music's counting on you. Call 1-800-455-9678 or go to WOSU.org and thanks. Become a sustainer at $8 or make an annual contribution of $96 to WOSU and we'll thank you by sending the DVD, The Beatles, eight days a week. Increase your sustaining donation to $15 or make an annual contribution of $180, and we'll thank you with the two-disc special edition DVD of The Beatles, eight days a week, along with the CD, Live at the Hollywood Bowl. Finally, make a sustaining donation of $25 or an annual gift of $300, and we'll say thanks for the two-disc special edition of your choice either the Blu-ray or DVD, the CD remix of Live at the Hollywood Bowl, and the eight days a week tote and mug. And remember, each of the levels just mentioned comes with a 1964 U.S. tour booklet with replica tickets and more. We only have a few moments left before we return to the show, so now is the time for you to support WOSU by going online or giving us a call, and thank you. Now, eight days a week isn't over yet. There's still more of the story of the Beatles to come, including the magic of the recording of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and a look at the band's last live show together. Now, you know it. It was the one on top of the Apple Studios in the rooftop in London in 1969. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss it. This film has been fantastic. You know, the Rolling Stone review of the film said it keeps the focus on the music and it's pure joy. That's exactly what we do here at WOSU. We keep the focus on the music. We keep music history alive, whether through documentaries or concert performances. And all of this is made possible by you. You know, at the end of the show, when you see Made Possible by members of this PBS station, well, 
This PBS station is WOSU, and the people who watch WOSU make this possible. Thanks so much for your contribution. Go to WOSU.org or call 1-800-455-9678. Let's go back to eight days a week, the touring years from Ron Howard, made possible by you.